Robin Hood Radio presents the commentary of Don Morrison. Don is a former editor at Time Magazine. He's an author, lecturer, and member of the Berkshire Eagle Advisory Board. The other day, somebody broke into a gallery in Pittsfield, Mass., and stole two paintings by the artist Edward Pelkey. They weren't Picassos, but any theft of a cultural artifact is a tragedy. And, sadly, an epidemic. The FBI says four to six billion dollars worth of art is stolen every year, and the numbers are rising. Cultural objects have soared in value lately as investors seek prestigious assets with inflation protection. And, for thieves, a price-to-weight ratio that's often better than other objects, even cash. Art theft can be political, too. Maybe the greatest caper in history was the 1911 taking of the Mona Lisa from the Louvre in Paris. The perp was an Italian who worked at the museum. He thought the painting belonged in Italy, where his countryman Leonardo da Vinci had painted it 400 years earlier. For me, art theft is personal. After my father's business burned to the ground, he took up painting as a distraction from his battle with insurance companies. He was a terrible artist, but he talked a hotel owner friend into hanging one of the canvases in his lobby. Within days, my dad's painting disappeared. He was doubly devastated. He could have taken solace in the Mona Lisa case. Newspapers were on the rise back then when that lady's portrait was stolen, and her enigmatic smile was on global front pages for months. Leonardo's relatively unknown painting became the most famous in the world, still is. That publicity helped lead to the thief's arrest two years later in Rome. He tried to pass the canvas to an Italian museum. A sharp-eyed art dealer called the cops. My father's painting was never recovered. He also never got enough insurance money to reopen his business. But he did receive a settlement from the hotel's theft policy. That helped finance a mail-order course in computer science that led to his long and satisfying second career as a data expert. Edward Pelkey is offering a $1,000 reward for his stolen artworks. The FBI says only about 10% are ever recovered, but he should not despair. As my father and Leonardo da Vinci could attest, theft is the sincerest form of flattery. And sometimes you come out ahead. I'm Don Morrison. Don Morrison is an author and editor. He's taught at universities in the United States, Europe, and Asia. He's the European editor of the British magazine Port and a member of the Berkshire Eagle Advisory Board. He lives in Paris, Miami, and in Berkshire County.